Hello, alphas. Let me make sure I mute my video. That way you guys don't get blasted with an ad. Hello. Oh, nope, no ad today. So, oh no, it's playing over there. Wait, Nate, entertain. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Not really too sure what's going on. Looks like te technical difficulties as usual. <laughs> I'm enjoying a venti iced vanilla latte with an extra shot of espresso this morning. <laughs> Very nice. It's almost noon, but it's still morning time for me. So, oh God. Okay, we had uh, I had multiple plays going on. Nate, it doesn't look like that preview video is showing anymore in the corner of my play screen. Is it showing for you? There's no preview no. of you. Oh, there's no preview. What's going well, on? Well, I'm live. I can see me. <laughs> well, they, I mean, they can see you when I when I manually click. All right, guys. Well, either way, happy Friday, everybody. We have a huge Q and A today, today to do today, but we also have some news for you. So, if you're joining us for the very first time, of course, as always, we hang out for the first ten minutes of every video while we wait for everybody to hop online. So, a little update for you guys. If you missed Q and A last weekend, which if you did. You should go watch it like right after this q a is over um we met anthony wolf of e-rank i did and mr mr nate did we went all the way to columbus to see anthony and that and right when we started posting photos everybody wanted to know like why are you guys all together what's going on what are you guys up to and I didn't tell anybody what we were up to. I just kept kind of like teasing it and and hinting. But basically, what we've been doing over the last uh, what would you say? It's been it's been over two months now, hasn't it? It's been over. Yeah, it's funny. There was a post made where it was like two and a half weeks. It's really been almost like three months now, right? Yeah, it's been a while. So Nate, do you want to tell them what we what we basically have been doing with Anthony? So a lot of it is just really trying to hone in on what E-Rank is and finding good brand representation to get the E-Rank name out there in a better way. And then on top of that, also kind of cleaning up the way that the old website looked and totally redesigning it. So it's a brand new interface. Um, it's a lot cleaner in my opinion. Anthony and the team has done an incredible job um, not only from a graphic standpoint and from a marketing standpoint, but just from a user interface standpoint, there's a, a nice little feedback button at the bottom of every screen on an E-Rank page. And you can provide feedback in real time to Anthony and he grabs that feedback and he's constantly cataloging um, you know, everything that you guys are talking about. So if you have any suggestions, any comments, any type of feedback, share it, share it here, share it on the website. Um, and then the last piece has really been the social media, which is, I'm hoping maybe you could mention that a little bit. Actually, you know what, why don't you mention it? But first, yeah. before you mention it, why don't you mention why, why you're pushing E-Rank? Who are you? Who are you to push E-Rank? Why, why, why do you care about this, Nate? Do you want to kind of discuss why you want them to follow the, the social media? <laughs> well, I'll say it like this, cause I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to disclose right now. Um, but E-Rank is going to become a dominant presence on the internet. Um, you're going to see it everywhere. So we're really excited to get that campaign going. Um, really, through much of what you're used to through the Facebook group, we're going to continue that on other platforms. So you're going to be able to now see E-Rank on Instagram, on Twitter. You're going to see E-Rank on Pinterest and even on Reddit. So no matter where you go, there's going to be an E-Rank resource for you. And the goal is to make it as easy as possible for you to ask a question, a question and get an answer back in real time. So and, find us. Um, yeah. And uh, those links, guys, are all down below. Like if you click yes. uh, open for links, you'll find all of them. So I, um, I, I'm really excited, especially for Instagram. Um, we're at E-Rank Pro. Uh, also on Twitter, you can find us at E-Rank Pro. Um, but just in the next couple of days, everything is going to become even bigger. Um, just like Anthony's motto from little things, big things grow. We're applying that to our social media. So. Yay! 
Yay! And it, you know, it's yeah. really cool, guys. If, if you've missed it, if you've missed like the last Q and A, basically what happened was. Um, I had I'd been talking to Anthony about Nate because Nate's been helping me with some some things with the alphas and Anthony was really impressed with Nate and actually brought Nate on board um, as their what what would you consider yourself a social media content manager? Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. So he's uh, he's in charge of basically the social media marketing that's going to be taking place for E rank. So he's your, your guy on the inside now. And he's also working with the alphas. So you get like the best of both worlds. Um, and I, on the other hand, when it came to this E rank rebrand, I I'm not like an employee of E rank and I didn't get paid to do any of it, but what this has allowed me to do is have some hands-on experience with a major rebrand and really um, really testing the waters of what I what I could do while also brainstorming ideas for something huge that's gonna hopefully be completed this year for the alphas. And Nate is pretty much the only other person who knows about it other than Mr. Moore. He's sick, by the way. I th don't think I mentioned that. Um, but if Nate, you do you want to weigh in on uh, on how huge the thing is that I'm working on? Well, I'll, I'll say this. I, I don't know how you manage to be a mentor and a guide to me, to train me, to give me all of the resources that you have to constantly be a presence in the Handmade Alpha community, and then also put together things like this every single week. It actually blows my mind. And you're a wife and you're a mother. That kind of stuff to me, like, you know, I'm wrapping up college and I have a full-time job. I do some things on the side and I feel like my whole day is stretched and I'm working 30 hours. But then I remember there's people like you and people like everyone that's watching this that totally gets what I'm saying. It just completely blows my mind that you're able to like put all this together, manage it. it it's crazy. Um, but what I will say is <laughs> there is something huge. So if you thought the handmade alphas was going to be big, just wait, Starla has a lot more in store for you, a lot more resources, a lot more things to help you along your journey. Yes, and my secret guys is every morning I eat a pine cone, a whole pine cone, and that is what one. helps me manage my time so well. So be sure to go out in your yard, find a nice big pine cone and ingest the entire thing. Um, <laughs> I suggest starting with grass, gradually yeah. work your way up. Yeah, work your way up to the pine cone. That way, you know, yeah. your body can, can get used to it. So uh, we've got about one minute before we need to start. The last few pieces of news that I need to give you guys, Handmade Alpha Academy, which is my, my like flagship course, will be opening for summer in June. So if you guys want to get on the waiting list to make sure that you get the massive discount and guys who, who you know what the discount is, please don't type it in the chat, like keep it a secret because it, I know that it's going to excite everybody and we want to keep it a secret, right? It's exciting. Absolutely. So make sure that you yeah, join the waiting list down below. You can find it next to a little graduation cap emoji. Um, another Click link that you're going to want to grab down below is there are my 2019 um, marketing calendars. There is a little party horn emoji beside those. Make sure that you click that. Get my marketing calendars. You won't double sign up for my email list. If you're already on my list, you don't have to worry about that. They're completely separate lists. But if you're interested in getting my marketing calendars, those are available free down below. And the very last thing that I have for you guys is for everybody who begged me and begged me and begged me and begged me to contact Renee Christine about potentially doing another um, opening of architect which is her course for building a website if you want to have another you know place to sell other than etsy or if you're you know if etsy's not for you and you want to open your own website i do have a i i have a time frame in mind for when you can expect that to be open it's going to be sometime next month i can't say anything else but just if it's something that you've been waiting for and maybe you've already taken handmade alpha academy or um, maybe, maybe Etsy's not for you and you don't think the HAA could help you, but you would rather build your own website. She will be opening her ultimate architect course to the alphas very soon, but I can't say any more than that because I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. So let <laughs> I feel like half of the stuff we're saying, we're like, oh, we can't really talk about it. <laughs> we can't talk about anything. We're not allowed. There, there are non-disclosure agreements and paperwork and lawyers and we'll get the, I don't know. The FBI will be busting in through the doors. So we can't All say of these things. 
<laughs> hey, real quick, before we get going, there's like three different comments in, in the chat that I wanted to respond to really quick. Go ahead. I don't know if you saw them or not. Okay, so Sassy Blossoms. First of all, thank you for saying that E-Rank looks awesome. Anthony and the entire development team, along with Starla and I, we've all worked really, really hard to give you guys something that you know looks really good and is super easy to interface. And that's what we're hoping for. Um, somebody asked a question if your Etsy rank account and profile will transfer over to E rank. Think of Etsy rank to E rank as just more of a rebranding. It's really the same thing, just with a different twist. And we really wanted to get away from Etsy and really just make it more about E rank. So it's its own entity. But yes, your profile, your account, everything transfers over. If you have any questions, reach out to me, Starla, or reach out to Anthony directly through the website and we'll get you some help. I was trying to see if there was anything else. So much fiber says wild moonlight vlogs. Yes, very much so. <laughs> Not <laughs> I going to find funny. cone. <laughs> and then uh, Kate Kate McMullen uh, says, I think acorns could be a good stepping stone. And I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, you gotta eat you gotta eat the acorns like cereal. You gotta put them in a big bowl and then pour the milk over top. Preferably some type of like a nut milk, like some almond milk or oh some my fresh gosh. milk. Yeah. That's the Californian and you coming back out. Hey, I'm not from California. I just lived there for six years. I don't drink dairy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in to some cool SEO tips. And for a lot of you, this is going to be a refresher, but I might share some knowledge that you maybe weren't aware of. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to type those into the chat. I'm going to have Nate kind of keep track of what's going on in the chat um, because I can't see your comments while I'm screen sharing. I'm going to give you a preview of what the new E-Rank site looks like, how to use it um, for keyword research. Now, keep in mind, I am a pro member, so I will be using my pro account which is $9.99 per month. So freaking worth it. Not getting paid to say that. It just, you're going to see so much more data than if you have the free account. But the free account is still very useful. You can still use it for your keyword research. You're just not going to get as much data so if you can swing that that $10 a month, I highly recommend it. If not, the free version it still works perfectly. Um, you just won't your screen won't match up quite as much as mine will. So first of all, I do want to point something out to you guys that I've noticed consistently and not just my community, the Handmade Alpha Facebook community, which is linked down below. If you're not a member, feel free to join. Um, but I've also noticed it in a lot of other Etsy groups where sellers are hopping on and they're starting to complain and say things like, oh, my sales have tanked this month. Oh man, I, I was doing so good last month and now my sales are completely dropped. Like, let me know down in the comments if your sales have dropped this month, okay? Let me know. And let me know if you're one of those people who's wondering why. Because I'm gonna tell you why. I'm going to tell you exactly why your sales have dropped. It's because the summer, it's almost summer. It's spring. It's warm. Um, we live in Ohio and we're having a very, very warm spring. It's nice out. Everyone's planting flowers. And as it gets warmer, less people are going to be sitting on their butts in front of their computer shopping, guys. This is the time when you need to be working on your SEO. This is the time when if you have photos in your shop that need to be replaced, you need to get out there and do that. You need to edit your photos. You need to make sure that all of this tweaking is done over the summer while it's quiet because you're not going to make a lot of sales. And take it from me, I have been selling on Etsy for over seven years now. I know what these patterns look like. And right around springtime, sales drop. It's completely normal. It's not your shop. It's not that people don't like your products. Use this time wisely because right when August, September, and October roll around, that's when Christmas mode is going to start kicking in. And by November, usually November is everybody's best month, depending on what industry you're in. So I just wanted to throw out that quick disclaimer. Make sure everybody's aware that it's not just you. This is normal. If you're new to Etsy and this feels like, you know, something that's crazy that's just happening to you, I promise you it's not. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some research. That way we can get rolling and you guys have something fun to do over the summer. And if you guys like this video, we might do some more videos over the next few weeks talking about some of the other E-Rank tools that are available. But right now we're going to be talking about two very specific uh, tools. The Keyword Explorer, which is a pro tool. Um, but if you have a standard membership, you can use the keyword tool for that. And we will also be talking about the Trends Report, which is a pro tool. Okay, so we're going to do three different tools today and uh, learn how to do some keyword research. So give me one second while I share my screen. 
The first thing that I'm going to share with you guys, though, is the new E-Rank homepage because Nate and I spent so much time on it and it looks so nice. And I'm just so stinking proud of how beautiful it looks. All right, Nate, you are currently in charge of chat. Just keep an eye out. And if there's any questions that you feel that need to be answered as we go, just yell at me really loud because uh, once I'm on a roll, I have trouble hearing. All right, guys. Yeah, before we begin, actually, Amy had one of a had a question really quick. She says that um, she was thinking, like, would it be worthwhile to do a summer collection based absolutely. on the information you just gave them? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The thing about the summer collections, though, is if you're going to do that, you need to start now. You don't want to if you're selling products that are summer themed, you got to make sure that people have time to buy them, just like Christmas products. You don't want to release Christmas products in November. You want to make sure that Christmas products are released in, you know, right around Halloween time or earlier if possible. So as long as you bust it out quick, get it launched and make sure that you give yourself optimal time to market, then you are well off. Um, but if those products aren't necessarily, you know, summer specific, then don't worry about it too much. It doesn't really matter when you launch. So I hope that answered your, uh, your question, Amy and Nate, just feel free to yell at me if you see any more good ones. All right, guys. So right here, right when you visit erank.com for the first time, you will get this brand new homepage. It is significantly different than what the old homepage looked like. Um, <laughs> a lot of this, a lot of these cool little graphics and things are Nate and I, and lots of, very, very long nights um, working on the design of this. But just make sure that you go ahead and click start growing to sign up if you're not already a member or log in if you are um, if you're already a member from the old site and your data will be transferred over. After you log in, you'll be taken to your E-Rank dashboard. This is my personal dashboard from my shop. So obviously there's um, a lot of crazy data here. But the tool in particular that we're going to be looking at is the keyword explorer if you are a pro member or the keyword tool if you are a standard member obviously i'm going to go for the pro since i am a pro member and with this tool what you are able to do is type in a keyword and research exactly how many people are searching for this term on Etsy and Google and how many people are engaging with it, okay? But rather than, for example, I sell skeleton key necklaces. Rather than typing in skeleton key necklace, what you guys want to do is type in a broad keyword that just barely describes what your product is. So in fact, Nate, um, if you don't mind, what I think I'm going to ask them to do is just, I'm going to have everybody type in the chat what they sell specifically, what type of mm -hmm. product they sell. And then what I want you to do is just read one off to me. We're going to pick on one random person. Um, and guys don't attack Nate. If he doesn't pick you, <laughs> don't, 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 you know, form a mob or <laughs> put me on the spot. Thanks, Starla. <laughs> pick just pick a random one. Close your eyes if you have to and hover your mouse over somebody and just give me a random product. That way I don't absolutely have to. while we're while we're getting some questions or while we're getting some answers and there's a question by Jane Irvine. Sure. She said she watched a video where you were using SEO book. Would you recommend using it? E rank over SEO book now. Is Absolutely. there much different? Absolutely. SEO book is so outdated, guys. They stopped importing data like several years ago. And that's why that video now has a, uh, I think in the description, I put that it is outdated now because basically with these, with these, um, these tools, what's happening is these tools rely on trusted third parties to provide the data that they use. So you can't just call Etsy up and say, hey, can I have all of the words that were searched on Etsy from this month to this month? They, they don't do that. that. That's not how it works. But there are third party services that will give you this data totally legal. It's not, it's not you know, anything sketchy, but you have to rely on these third parties. And SEO book did the exact same thing for Google searches, right? But what ended up happening was they stopped paying um, I think it's because I, they weren't making a lot of money from ad space or whatever, and they didn't have the money to pay for this data. So they just never refreshed it. So the data that you're seeing is years old, whereas Anthony's data is catered specifically to Etsy. So you're not just seeing how many people are searching for these products on Google. You're seeing how many people are searching for these products on Google and Etsy. Okay. And he keeps this information updated. So that E-Rank is absolutely the way to go. I have completely converted over. There is nothing else that I use. I only use E-Rank for this reason. 
Nate, do you All have right. One? Yes. Yes. Amy Hoffman. She has been excellent. She's been awesome, both on here and through um, Instagram, I believe. Uh, she says feather pen. Feather pens. Okay. So let's try something. <clears throat> Um, something broad. Let's try. And, you know, feather pen isn't necessarily a long tail keyword. Usually when you see a long tail keyword, you would expect it to be three words or more and point to a very specific type of product. So let's just start with the broad term pen and see what we get. All right. So some of the main areas that we want to look at are the searches per month, the competition and the engagement, okay? And if you're a pro member, you'll have a long tail graph that will show you where um, and how close to be a, a long tail keyword it is. Right now we see that uh, pen is a head keyword. The difference between a head keyword and a long tail keyword is a long tail keyword has a higher conversion rate because it points to a very specific type of product. And if a shopper is searching for a very, very specific type of product, it means that they are more ready to buy as opposed to somebody who is searching for something very general. For example, someone who is just searching Mother's Day gift, they don't know exactly what they want, right? But if somebody's searching Mother's Day uh, cross stitch pattern, they know exactly what they want, right? So they're more likely to buy. And if you sell a Mother's Day cross stitch pattern, you are more likely to make that sale or have that higher conversion. So that's why long tail keywords are significantly better than using a broad, a broad short head keyword. Okay. So um, we have pen is our word and we can look at our nice graph, which is a pro feature and see how many people are searching at different points. But then what we want to do is scroll down and look at some of the recommended keywords that we see down here. Now, ultimately, what we're looking for are yellows and greens, and we want to avoid oranges and reds, okay? Because we're looking for searches, competition, and engagement. We want high searches, we want low competition, and we want high to medium engagement, right? So scrolling through, we see wire wrapped pendant. They see none of these are describing what we want. Um, pen blanks, pearl pendant. So we're seeing a lot of related keywords. So we might want to try to um, refine this a bit and try to find something else. So um, let's try. What did she, what did she call it? Feather pen. Feather pen. Feather pen. And then she also has feather quill pen. Oh, um, Natalia, Natalia actually said a long tail should be Swarovski crystals necklace. Interesting. Or Amy just said feather quill pen for wedding. Oh yeah, that would be a great long tail. So we see crystal, um, oh, that's pendant. Man, it's pulling pendant terms. Let's see, let's try quill. I actually like quill a lot more. Whoops, would help if I... Is quill one L or two L's? <laughs> Let's see. Is quill one L or two L's? I think it's one, right? One or two? Quill is two L's. Two L's, okay. All right, so let's see. Quilled welling cards, quilling art, paper quilling wall art, quilling cards, feather quill pen. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. This would be a long tail keyword. Notice in the pro membership, you can actually see if it's a long tail. It's got a decent amount of searches. That's fantastic. Uh, 610 searches a month. That falls into the medium range, which means it would be a decent long tail keyword to consider. Your competition is insanely low. There are only 1,088 other competitors using the keyword feather quill pen. So latch onto this keyword. And the engagement for it is high. Now, there's something really interesting that we're going to go into here in just a few minutes um, in terms of these search trends. So I'm going to leave this here, but let's kind of scroll through and see what other terms that we have. It looks like quill pen by itself actually has lower engagement than feather quill pen. So that might be something to, uh, to think about. Looking down, 
quill, paper quilling, uh, feather quill. Looks like it has low searches, so that wouldn't be a term that you would want to use. So feather quill pen definitely seems like the winner out of all of these, but something else that you can do once you find that, uh, that term that you really, really like, where'd it go? Feather quill pen, is click on it, and then you'll be able to pop up the full record of any minute now, you'll be able to pull up the full record and stats for that specific keyword. Now, if you're using the keyword tool, if you have a free membership, we'll go ahead and type the same word in feather. Actually, no, let's do, um, let's just do feather. Well. Hey, Sassy Blossoms asked, um, how many searches should we be looking for that is a good amount per month? I recommend staying in the yellow to green. As long as it's in yellow to green, that means that you have those medium to high searches. See, looking at Feather Quill, we can see, this is the free membership, by the way. The only thing that you guys are not going to have are these graphs and some of the data that's down here. But for the free membership, what we can do is kind of use this to pull up our most popular tags used by other Etsy sellers. And this is a really useful resource if you guys need more ideas. You can go in here and kind of see the larger ones are the ones that are most frequently used. And you can click on all of these and kind of explore some of the features if you are using the free membership. So this is another Another great resource that you can use. But going back, we have Feather Quill Pen. We have 604 searches per month, low competition, and the engagement. It says that the engagement is low. Um, so that might be something to consider, maybe trying to throw in a variety of keywords. You might want to consider throwing in something like wedding pen. Um, you could even do things like guest book signing. In fact, let's pop open guest book. if we have any others. And then Nate, do you want to pull up one more example of um, from a shop? Maybe scroll back up and try to find me one more good one. And then we'll we'll go more into trends after that. So guys, Absolutely. I kind of, cool. So um, go ahead and find one and then just kind of stick your finger on it for a minute while I, while I go through this page. So a couple things that I forgot to mention, guys, is when we have this Etsy and Google data, which if you want to turn off one, that way you can really focus on it. Um, you can do that. But this Google data, think of this more as your second opinion, right? Because you're not selling on Google, you're selling on Etsy. And this, this here is basically going to reinforce the same trends that you're seeing on Etsy. So you can kind of see, especially in peaks and different seasons where, um, where these products are going to be more popular. If you're looking for a guest book, obviously there's probably going to be a peak in sales around wedding season. So this is just more of a second opinion that you can use. But Keep in mind, if you also have your own website, you can use this as a super bonus here to make sure that you're optimizing your website with keywords. Now, another uh, thing that I wanted to point out to you guys are these uh, Google competition and Google cost per clicks, because this is something that I know gets overlooked you know, when you're looking at all the pretty colors, you don't really think to look over here. And most people don't understand what the significance of the Google competition and the Google cost per uh, click is, which is the CPC. A combination of a high Google competition, which is one, 1 1.00 would be the highest, and a high CPC, which you can just kind of scroll through and see which are the highest. 1.23, that's high one. 1.91 is obviously higher. Just scroll through and find the ones that are the highest. So we're looking for our high competition, high Google CPC. This indicates that advertisers know that this keyword is special. Therefore, they're willing to pay more cost per click. They're willing to pay more and bid higher to get placement on Google for that keyword. So basically what we're seeing is we're looking for the winning racehorse, right? So if we look through this list and we see that, uh, what's this term? Guest book wedding, that it has high competition and the CPC is $1.91, 1.91. We know that this is a high demand word, okay? As opposed to maybe a Polaroid guest book that only has 0 0.83, okay? So make sure that you're looking for this combination of high CPC and high Google competition, okay? Uh, Nate, do you wanna go ahead and give me one more uh, one more term? Absolutely, Jane Irvine contributed and said, hand engraved drinking glasses. 
All right, so let's do engraved glass. Let's just, uh, oops. You guys will have to excuse me. When I use Mr. Moore's keyboard, it's like I'm in a different universe. It is so much more clicky. All right, so engraved glass, we have very low searches per month, very high competition and low engagement. So obviously engraved glass is not a term that we would want to use. What we would want to do is scroll down and look at some of the better terms. So we have wine glass. So maybe the engraved could be something that you could add in front of wine glass. That way wine glass stays together. Wine glass is not a long tail keyword because it is only two terms and it doesn't really point to a very specific type of product. Um, and that competition is very high. Let's go ahead and click out of quill pens. Here we go. Looking through wine glass, though, we might be able to go through and find a better term. So we have personalized wine glass. This has a lot of monthly searches, very high competition, but that engagement is very high. So it might be a good secondary keyword. We have personalized wine glass. We're getting closer. We have high searches. We have a uh, little bit lower competition, but still pretty high. But we also have very high engagement. We have hand-painted wine glass. That doesn't really point to engraved wine glasses, though. So we have uh, some high searches, low competition, and high engagement. Let's see what we have. Etched wine glass. So maybe, maybe instead of engraved, since we're not seeing much for engraved, you might want to consider looking into etched in place of engraved because we have decent searches, 1,410. We have 16,678 competition, which is relatively high, but not too bad. And the engagement is medium. So this would be a great opportunity for you to test a combination of maybe wine glass or personalized wine glass and etched wine glass and try to find a good combination that works for you. And keep in mind, it can take months to find the purpose or perfect combination. But E-Rank has a lot of great tracking tools that we might talk about another time, um, uh, I'll show you another resource where you can find out how to track your, your keywords a little bit better here in just a few minutes. But basically, try a combination of these words. Make sure that you're looking for good numbers. Make sure that you're looking for the greens and the yellows. And just test things out, guys, because ultimately what you want to do is find the perfect recipe. It's like trying to find the perfect cookie recipe, okay? And this is going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of experimenting. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is the trends graph that we have here. Basically, the trends graph tell us or tells us how popular this keyword has been over the last 15 months. And for wine glass, for example, we can see this peak right here for wine glass is December 2018. Um, personalized wine glass, we see a peak in December 2018 and January 2019. So there's a lot of really useful things that we can that we can use this for. Um, and let's let's think about this, guys. When do people buy Christmas wreaths? We'll do a little a little trivia, okay? Nate, let me know what a majority say. But guys, just type in what month do you guys think that most people buy Christmas wreaths? And we'll we'll test it out. In fact, I'll get it typed in. While we're waiting on some answers, Pam Duffy has joined us. Hi, Pam. We might be meeting Pam later, right? Aren't we? Yeah, she we has been one of the like E rank rock stars. And I personally have been extremely impressed with everything she's done to help out the team. Yeah, guys, and very, Pam very thankful. Channel. Hey, Nate, Pam won't be, since she's not an admin or I mean a chat moderator, she won't be able to type her own channel into the comments. Co could you pull up another sure. tab and just uh, plug her channel down below? Guys, if you absolutely. If you if you guys ever get sick of listening to long Q&As and you would like to uh, hang out with Pam, she also has an amazing channel that you guys can check out. Look for the comment from Nate. He will be typing that in in just a minute. But right now, I'm waiting for you guys to let me know what month do most people buy Christmas wreaths. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And then we're going to look it up. We're going to find out when most people buy Christmas wreaths. And there is a point to this exercise that you guys will be finding out in just a moment. Were you able to find Pam's channel? <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Perfect. You're going to be Poi my new my new link retriever. My link re a link retriever. A well, link I'm, retriever. I'm I'm a computer nerd, so I know how to search things very quickly. Yes. That is your your new job. Go find the links. 
What are most people saying in our chat? What month are you? Uh, Vanessa just said, oh, no, I'm late. My notification just showed up. Uh, that's OK. Vanessa, that after the video. Yeah, after the video is over, we'll be posting it. So you'll be able to re watch the replay. Yeah, the Thanks replay for joining. post right after we're done. So yeah, most people right now we have quite a few, we've got a couple of Novembers, one or two Decembers. Everyone's saying October. October, November, and December. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up Christmas wreath. And then we're going to scroll down to Christmas wreath. Look at our Etsy trends. Oh, what do you know? First month, October. Second month, November. Oop, didn't mean to click it. And third month is December. But it looks like the most people are purchasing in November. So when you sell Christmas wreaths, guys, assuming that, that you are a Christmas wreath shop or you just make wreaths and you want to make some for Christmas, when should you list your Christmas wreaths? Let me know. What month should you actually list your Christmas wreaths? Well, I mean, everyone nailed when they're searching for it. So, I mean, you know, I'm, when to search I'm thinking for they're going to get it. When should you list it? Let's Let see me. here. Oh, they're starting to roll in right now. There we go. Okay. I'll let a few more come in and then I'll reveal to you what they're saying. Oh, I'm so Vanessa busy. says, <laughs> Vanessa cheated. She says three months before. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a lot of August. There's a few September's. Uh, so Barbara just said mid October. Uh, more September's. July August. Vanessa says July August. Okay. September um, and August, yeah. guys. September and August. When you guys, okay, so for example, if you guys shopped uh, at Target and you live in an area where there is swimming, assuming that you don't live in like Iceland or something, and <laughs> where, there's, where there's outdoor swimming, usually in the United States, I guess I should specify, in February, when it is generally pretty cold, Target releases their bikinis. Nobody in Ohio is buying a bikini in February, but they are buying bikinis right now when it's starting to warm up. So you want to make sure that you are releasing your products two to three months before you expect to sell them. And if these products are beginning to sell in October and we even have a, a little spike in September, then you need to be listed by September and August. Does that make sense? So how do you find trends? What do you, how do you find out what's trending right now? Now, this is a, a feature that is exclusive to uh, E-Rank Pro, but I want to give you guys one little thing since we're talking about trends. This is the trending on Etsy report, and you can see the 10 most search terms for last month, which was March. We see that enamel pin was trending, girl's Easter dress, obviously, because of Easter. But the, what's really interesting is you can go back and look at what was trending this time last year. So for all of you who are saying, is it too late to release a summer product line? Make sure that if you have a pro membership, you're going to this page and looking at what was trending specifically in June. Or if you're, if you're doing some SEO right now, maybe you want to look at what's trending in May. We can see that Mother's Day gift was trending. This is a term that you might want to throw into your tags and titles. And, you know, obviously make sure you take it out after the holiday's over. But this might be a term that you want to experiment with. Uh, Father's Day gift. This is another big one that you can get in on now. We have um, wedding decor because wedding season is right around the corner. Um, let's see. We have bridesmaid gift. That's going to go along with the wedding season. Going into June, Father's Day. We have uh, clothing. Obviously, everybody's doing their their summer kind of, I guess, uh, they're redoing their closets, re rebuying for summer. We have weddings. Once again, wedding season, bridesmaid gift. So this is a really great way to see what was popular about, you know, about a year ago, maybe, maybe 13 to 14 months out. Because if that term was popular this time last year, it's probably going to be popular this year too, right? There's going to be a few exceptions to this. For example, slime hasn't been nearly as popular as it was, you know, last year. I think that that was kind of a, 
more of a, a trendy thing for the kids last year. And it hasn't been quite as popular this year, but it's still pretty popular. And it's something that you guys need to consider when you are kind of scouting out these trends. Okay. And make sure that if you're doing this research, and you plan to edit your, your tags and titles. You want to make sure that you're doing this early because you want to give Etsy optimal time to assess your listings and these changes. It can take 60 days or more to assess these changes. So you need to make sure that you're giving plenty of time for, you know, not just for Etsy to assess the changes, but to accommodate the shoppers who are getting in there and shopping early. Now, the last thing that I want to show you guys real quick, if you need more help with some of the tools, is there are some really cool videos that Nate and I uh, I recorded, Nate edited. If you go into the beginner's guide, this is for everybody. This is going to be a video that will kind of overview the free tools. It's only six minutes and 14 seconds long. It's just a quick overview that will get you started. And right when you sign up for E-Rank, if you're already a member, you will be taken to a page with this. But if you ever need to get back to it, just pop open into your settings, go to beginner's guide and you can listen to this video and hear my lovely voice for about six minutes. Pro members get to deal with me for a little bit longer. Go into getting started with pro and you'll get a longer video. It is 14 minutes and 53 seconds of me covering some of the most important pro tools. If you have E-Rank Pro, I highly recommend doing the E-Rank Pro video and the beginner's guide video because they cover completely different tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen. Let me go ahead and pull this over. Oop. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. Um, Nate, let's let's try to tackle some of these comments that I'm sure that we that I'm sure that we have. Do we have any more questions that I've missed? Yeah, uh, let me go up through here. I mean, seriously, everyone, you're doing such a good job with providing us with like great feedback and really funny comments. So we really appreciate that too. That's always good. Um, Let's see here, Pam. I'm. She says, I'm glad to be in the earring team, amazed by the work you all did. We're just as amazed by all the feedback and all the work you've done. I mean, you are an absolute genius when it comes Absolutely. to everything. I personally spent about a month kind of going through your channel and watching some of your videos. I really like your presence in your videos. So I'm hoping maybe we can collaborate together on some future video work together. I'd like to talk to you maybe one-on-one -on -one when you get some time, just to you know throw that out there. Yeah, we and um, Amy, I, told, I told Pam that we're the repo team because of the hair. <laughs> That's exactly right. Exactly right. That was the first thing that caught my eye. I was like, oh, you and Starla must collaborate on your hair. Um, <laughs> Amy also said that when, um, you know, when you're searching over the list of different tools and there's that pro tag next to the ones that are actually pro tools. Amy thought that that meant that that was a feature that you had to pay extra for, which is why it should pro. So that might, that's actually good feedback. Thank you for that. Um, Wrecking Crew says nobody had an outside pool in the UK. Our weather is way too rainy for that. <laughs> it's a good point. Um, Moonstone Mary, she asks, so E-Rank Pro is $10 a month. Is that paid monthly or annually? Right now, that is paid monthly, though Anthony has teased that there should be an annual plan coming soon. We just don't know when that's going to be available because that does take quite a bit of work to, to kind of, you know, get integrated. Um, and all the tools that we're talking about with Pro, you don't pay per tool. It's $9.99 per month and you get all of the Pro tools. Everything that has that little orange, you know, box beside it that says Pro, you get all of those. So once yes. again, I'm not an affiliate of E-Rank. <laughs> Southern Belle Taylor Designs, uh, she just says, okay, you made up my mind for me, lol, I just upgraded a pro. Woo! Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. You're yeah. about to be amazed by all the tools that you now have access to. And what's really great is that I will be manning the, the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter stuff. So reach out on there if you ever have any comments, feedback, any questions, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Oh, and Nate, not only that, but we should point this out. If you have like a really cool success story, something that would help Nate out, you know, while creating some content, if you have like a great at like E-Rank success story, even if it was when it was back when it was like Etsy rank and you just, you want to share it and you've got like a cool photo of one of your products or, um, you know, just something like that or a photo of yourself, submit it or tag the E-Rank Pro Instagram because what we're going to be looking for are some cool success stories to share. So feel free to do that if you want to help out Nate. Yes. And honestly, my dream for, and my, my goal, my dream 
for the Instagram, for the social media in general, is to really make it about every one of you. It's not just about E-Rank, right? We're kind of here to be the face of E-Rank, but it's more about providing you with the tools and resources that you need. And we want to reflect our social media back into the community. So please, if you have a great story that you want to share that you feel that would be helpful to other Etsy shop people, and you think that it would help them grow, which is our complete mission statement, it's all about growth, um, submit it. Hashtag E-Rank through any of your social media posts, um, and I'll be digging through them and picking things out every single week, and you might have a chance to get featured. So it would be a good thing for you, and then also it would be a chance to maybe highlight some things that other shop owners were kind of maybe nervous or didn't want to necessarily share because of their own struggles and things. But if, if you can be that person to kind of say, Hey, these are the struggles that I've had. These are the things that I've been able to overcome. That's going to empower even more people and it's going to make our community grow. And that's what we really want. So thank you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's going to, and that, that's like a shout out for you. Like, you know, talking about benefits for you, it, this is like a free feature where all of the E-Rank followers would, you know, get to, get to check. Yes. Out, so. And Wrecking Crew says, I can't afford Pro just yet, but if my work takes off, I'll totally do you some kind of content to help out. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, E-Rank wasn't really built to just have Pro members. A lot of the resources that we have to offer are completely and totally free. Join us, jump into the Facebook community, start a conversation, get in there and ask questions. You know, Most of the resources that are available are already there. All you have to do is become a member of E-Rank. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, Again, become a member of the Facebook community. You'll have great people in there like Starla and Pam to guide you along the way. So even if you can't afford all of the pro features, you can definitely afford 10 minutes to sign up, right? And that's all it takes. And not to mention, Anthony Wolf is in his group every single week. He has a Q&A session, usually every Tuesday, where you can talk directly to Anthony and ask questions and provide feedback. It's just, a, it's probably, this has to be the like closest community based around like a web tool that I have ever seen. I've never seen so much love when it comes to just a, an online tool because it's usually there, there it, there's usually a lot of coldness when it comes to something like this. So I th there's just so much warmth in the community. Um Yeah, and um Misty asked if uh I ever sleep. Yes, I do. Uh Starlo works 10 times as hard as I do, so does Anthony, so does Pam. You know, <laughs> so I am uh I am just a student trying to learn as much as possible. <laughs> He's, we always make the joke with Anthony when when Anthony says something about um, what about about taking up too much of your time. He's all I always like chime in. And I'm like, don't worry about him. He's 26 and single and he has no kids. <laughs> <laughs> prime age, prime everything. Right. <laughs> this is this is your this is the phase where you need to be just like busting butt because you've got so right. much time. You can either. This is something that I, I even tell the alphas. You are either time rich and money poor or m wait time rich and money poor or time poor and money rich that's like those are like the, when it comes to an entrepreneur or entrepreneur those are like the two the two phases that you transition one to the other so <laughs> that's right i yeah and southern bell just said uh, you don't know what tired is yet yeah i really don't uh, i don't know what a 60 hour you know day looks like yet so the goal yeah. is to get there though so get on instagram tag me and stuff and keep me really busy <laughs> keep them busy guys <laughs> all right do we have any more uh any more good questions I, i've just lost track of the chat because there's so many oh it's okay there i know everyone is just being great right now um amy says i wish my shop would grow my whole shop is going to be revamped i feel like i'm the only one who revamps their shop the most when i am done getting it all to where i want it won't change it again what do you have to say about the constant change? You actually mentioned this the other day, Starla. You were talking about like how many times you should actually rebrand yourself. Maybe you could speak to that a little bit. Yeah. So here's there's there's a couple different, and we talk about this a lot in Handmade Alpha Academy when it comes to rebranding. So I can't say a whole lot um, in terms of like the nitty gritty details, but think about it this way: imagine, um, imagine a company that like Coca Cola that has kept the same iconic, consistent logo for what, over a hundred years, right? Coca-Cola has been around for well over a hundred years, I believe. Nate, Google how old Coca-Cola is. Um, but you keep, like they've had that iconic red and white in that specific font for a long time. 
But then there are 127 brain. years. 127? God. 127 that's... years. January 29th, 1892. That is insane. And they've kept very similar branding for 127 years. But then there are those brands out there who change their branding all the time. And they completely go like all different directions. And the 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 metaphor that I use both in Handmade Alpha Academy and that I used last week when we when we spoke was imagine your branding is like a song. Okay. If you're driving to work and you hear a song on the radio and you kind of like it, you know, you're 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 jamming to it, and then you get to work, and then on the drive home, you hear it again, and then you're kind of mouthing the words a little bit, and then you go home, and then the next day you drive to work again and you hear it. And you're like, wow, I like this song. So on your lunch break, you you download the CD. And then on the ride home, you're singing all the words. And then by the week after that, you've got all the words memorized and you're jamming out and it's just your favorite song in the whole wide world. But imagine if every time that you had heard that song, the words had been changed just slightly. Would you remember it? Probably not. And that's what branding is. You have to sing the same song over and over again and build a reputation for that song. Otherwise, people will not remember you. So make sure that when you're, I mean, moving and making changes in your shop, that's fantastic. In fact, it's good for your ranking. Etsy sees activity. Etsy sees you moving around. Etsy, you know, knows that you're an active seller and that you're doing good by your, your community. So Etsy is more likely to see that activity as a positive thing. And that usually positively impacts your ranking, right? But at the same time, make sure that those changes are taking place in things that, that matter, like your tags and your titles and things. Once you get your branding perfect and you're happy with it, don't, don't, you know, I like to call it like almost like you get like this nest syndrome where you, your branding is perfect, but you just, you keep tweaking it like, oh, it, it's perfect, but it could be a little bit better. And you just never settle and you're constantly changing. You need to make sure that you get that branding perfect. Like the first time or second time, if you're rebranding, hire a designer, if you have to, um, and don't publish it, don't upload it until you're happy with that final result. I mean, imagine if all of the variations that we did with the E-Rank logo, Nate, imagine if if we had posted each of those to the Facebook page. Like, oh, gosh, yeah. Like, while we were in the creative process, every single time no. that we do a change. No, that's where you have to balance out, like, what you reveal when. I feel, Starla, I feel like you're so good at announcing to your audience, like, what's happening and when, but you always seem to, like, have just that little bit of just, like, intrigue you know you make people really want it with your marketing i mean you're just so sharp at it yeah and that's what you guys can <laughs> be doing too teasing you have to tease people and keep them excited and keep them engaged so if you're working on your branding maybe post something on social media like hey you know something's coming you don't know what it is get excited just like we were talking about earlier what i'm saying when i told uh when i told you that i was working on something else and nate comes on and he's like if you guys think the alphas are cool you just wait for this secret thing that I can't talk about. But now you guys are all thinking about it, right? You're you're wondering what it is, when is it going to release, what does it cover, what's it about? It, that's going to be in your guys' heads for probably months now. So that's what you guys need to be doing to your audience when it comes to everything, whether it be product lines, advertising, sales, or your branding, if you plan to rebrand. So Nate, do we have any more questions rolling in? Ooh, let's take a look here. Sassy Blossom says, I could do without the song shark a do a do Never heard of that one. The baby shark? You ever heard baby <laughs> shark? You're not no, a... I'm sure you and Mark will, will probably play it for me next time I'm over now. No, Taylor's a little too old for baby shark, but I've been on social media enough with all my mom friends to know what it is. It's, uh, it's a very annoying song for children. We'll just leave it at that. Southern Bell Taylor Designs just had a serious question. She says, I've been working, I've been told by my marketing manager that I need to start a YouTube channel. Why would I need to and would it help? Well, that really depends on what you sell. Um, I don't know why a marketing manager would say that you need a YouTube channel because when it comes to product advertising, unless you're perpetually creating um, visual marketing and ads that are in a video format, there's really not a whole lot that you can do. If you're doing like your creative process and you have a product that you can show the creative process for, some products that's not very wise. You don't wanna give away your secrets on how you make your products and tell people how to make them. But say you're like a, maybe you're a blacksmith and it's gonna be really hard for the average Joe to just 
you replicate what you do. Maybe you make knives or something, or uh, you know, some some hammered metal jewelry, and you've poured the hot metal, and nobody's gonna nobody's gonna do that. So it'd be okay to show your creative process. But if you create something like um, maybe you do cross stitch, and you don't want people to see how exactly what you're doing because they could just go and replicate it, then it wouldn't be ideal for you to to have a YouTube channel covering your creative process. There are ways that you can use a YouTube channel, but I will admit my YouTube channel never took off as a advertising point for my Etsy business. If you go down into my very, very old, 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 old videos, I have a lot of different like old school, just ads that I made with like Windows Movie Maker for my, my product launches. And they've got very few views. Most of the, the views that they do have are from alphas, just snooping them out. Um, I didn't really have any traction. So it really just depends on the type of product. But as for your marketing, what did you say? Marketing manager? I, yes. Marketing manager. I don't really mm -hmm. think. Here's the thing. Make sure that you focus most of your efforts into three social media platforms. YouTube is a social media platform, but it doesn't have to be the one that you use. I don't think that YouTube is the place for, um, for Etsy handmade products unless there is like a reason for it. For example, if you're like a blacksmith or something and you have an interesting creative process, um, what I would recommend is looking more into channels like Pinterest, um, Instagram, Facebook, creating a Facebook group similar to what I have in the Art by Starla More Key Keepers Club. But other than that, keep. I would like to see more videos for uh, product advertising on Facebook. It's a lot easier to gain traction there. Your videos can be shorter um, as long as they're engaging. There's a lot of great resources that you can use to create those square videos that fit a screen. Um, that, and that's another big thing that not a lot of people realize is that if you're posting videos on social media, it's always good to make sure that those are in a square format because they fit the screen the best. That's why you see all of the Buzzfeed videos and the, like the tasty recipe videos, they're all squares because they fit the best resolution. Um, but you know, back to, back to the main topic, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. So I'm sorry no. if I upset Pam, your mark, whoever. No, Pam uh, mentioned YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the internet. So if it works for you then it can get your brand out. It's a good point to make. Yeah. Um, Sassy Blossom says, when doing your research on E-Rank and you see that there is a lot of trends on Google and less on Etsy, would you choose it if it is in the yellow and green? I think that that just depends. If there is a term that seems better, then obviously go with whatever the winning horse is. But if you're seeing a term that you still think would perform well and you want to test it, try it out. Give it a little while, you know, and make sure that if you guys want to learn more about tracking, watch those beginner videos that I showed you on the E-Rank site, because what I do in those videos is teach you a little bit more about how to track your actual um your the keywords that you're using to make sure that they are performing that way if they're not performing you can switch them out but if it, if it looks promising even if it's just performing well on google then go ahead and test it as long as it's in the yellow and it's in that medium to high range you should be fine to test um you just want to make sure that you're trying to avoid those super duper high competition rates because that's where things get a little bit hard when you're fighting with you know we'll say fifty thousand plus other sellers using that term it's going to be really hard for you to rank for it Root from Portugal, she says hi from Portugal, um, hey, says, Root. I intend to open my store soon. A hundred items to start a store is a good number, or should I continue to make more printables and wait? Um, a hundred is a lot. Now for SEO, there's, there's two kind of sides to this. For SEO, having more listings is fantastic. And I actually go into why this is in Handmade Alpha Academy because I have a very specific like top secret SEO formula in there for our alphas. HAA alphas, type in the comments. Don't tell them what the formula is, but type in the comments if you know what the formula is and tell them how awesome it is, but don't tell them what it is. Um, but basically guys, having more listings helps you to build a lot more structure because what it does is it basically gives signals to Etsy that that keyword that you wanna be known for is what you're all about. And you have a lot more branches to the tree that are reaching out and more opportunities to be found because there are so many listings floating around out there, right? But at the same time, in terms of, um, I would say the actually building an external following. For me personally, what I found works best for me is doing product line launches where I'm releasing a, a collection. And if you guys need to learn more about collections and way which of these strategies is best for you, whether it's releasing a lot of products or releasing in product lines, be sure to go down below. There's gonna be a little lollipop emoji right under this video if you click um, show more. 
Look for the one that says get free business candy from Renee Christine. That's going to take you to Renee Christine's uh, free product line training. And it's also going to include a lot of other free goodies from Renee. But basically what that's going to do is teach you how to create product lines. It's a free training that will teach you how to launch lines of products and market the way that big brands like Tiffany and Co. do. Tiffany and Co do. So like I said, there's two ways to do it. It's not going to hurt you to release all those products. Honestly, a hundred, like if you're waiting to launch and you don't think a hundred is enough, I think I've only got like 30 products in my shop right now. So, you know, it's not, that's definitely not an obstacle. Don't, don't worry about only having a hundred. A hundred is a lot. Yeah. Good point. Kate says, I know the formula and it's magic. Yes. The magic formula. Imagine. It's our secret formula that you only get to know if you're in Handmade Alpha Academy. But Handmade Alpha Academy doesn't open until June. Waiting list is linked down below. If you guys want the biggest, fattest discount ever when June rolls around, make sure that you sign up. Because if you're not on my waiting list, you don't get no discount. No discount. I got to get the discount. Wendy Workart says, uh, I've struggled between teaching artists how to make what I make and just selling my work. I've started a YouTube channel now though teaching how let me reword that i have started a youtube channel now though teaching how to make my stuff should i stop doing this um i think it depends i think that everything should be profit driven though so if you're teaching people how to make your stuff and you're still trying to sell your stuff you might be fighting against yourself have you ever considered creating something like an online course that would teach people how to make your products or maybe creating some type of pdf guide and opening up a secondary shop teaching people how to make your products or is there any way that in your youtube channel you can keep some of the information or process uh secret and then you know that way they would be more inclined to actually purchase from you so um that would be like me showing you guys like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how i make my products it's th what's that, that that's just going to be teaching you guys how to make what I make and then nobody's going to buy from me. Right. So it might be something to think about. Um, if you're, if you're really benefiting your goal or if you're, you're hurting your long-term goal, I think that there's a lot of interesting ways that you could do this. Um, and Nate, why don't you talk about Patreon? That might be a great option. You know more yeah, about Patreon, Patreon than I do. Patreon's great. Um, I know several, like there's a guy I've, been following on the internet for about a decade now and he went from like doing really funny internet videos to just now he like does full-on graphic art design and he's actually designing his own cartoon based off of a video game that he's a fan of and what he has decided to do is instead of just like working behind the scenes to get all of this content out he actually films himself for like 10 to 12 hours every single day on camera drawing and making this cartoon. And he has people subscribe to him through Patreon for like five to 10 bucks a month. And that pays all of his bills and everything. Doesn't have a day job. All he has to do is sit at home and work on his content. So he's like building content, gonna have content that's like completed to put out there to actually make money off of. But he's then making money while he's creating the content by showing people what he's doing. It's brilliant. And hey, Nate, you know, <clears throat> yeah. coasters that, that you always use when you're at our house, these are by Wendy. Wendy made made these coasters. So this is what oh, she made. Oh, really? Yeah. That is super cool. I love I those. I, I was, I'm going to okay. order some for myself, honestly. I know that <laughs> I know that you're always using our coasters, but I don't think I've ever mentioned that these were hers. But yeah, Wendy, um, Patreon would be a great option for you because then rather than giving this, this really cool information that people might be willing to pay for away for free, you might use YouTube to really um, show off your products and maybe show um, maybe like a, a a time lapse video of you making your products, you know, super fast, sped up, but then do your Patreon link in the uh, in the description and have people actually pay, you know, five dollars to learn more about the process. That way, if they're making their own at home, they're actually giving you a little bit of money for learning, you know, that really great information that you're sharing with them. So that might be yeah. something you consider. Your 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 products are important and are valuable. Your skills are just as important and valuable. So if definitely don't be a yeah, don't be afraid to charge for your skills. You know, um, Jane mentions that she is on the waiting list and she wants to know how long it will be before it opens up and when. 
It will be opening mid June. I can't remember the exact date. I believe it's the 14th. If you guys actually get my free marketing calendars also linked down below, there's a little party horn emoji beside them. Um, both enrollment dates for, we have one in June and one in December. Both of those enrollment dates are going to be marked on that calendar. I know that the December one is December 1st. Um, and I think that the June one is the 14th. So if you guys download that calendar, you guys can stay more up to date and kind of keep track of when that launch is. So, and it will be open for 10 days and then it closes until December. So make sure that you're on that waiting list because that's how you get the discount and yeah, and all the goodies, all the goodies that come with it. Let's see, do we have any more good comments? see. Oh, Pam, I love that. The best time to start is five years ago. Second best time is right now. Yeah, guys, there's no good time to start. The best time to start is right now because otherwise you might suffer from that paralysis by overanalysis. Just jump. Nate, what do I always tell you about jumping off the cliff? You just do it and know that you're going to land on your feet. Yeah. Do we have any more? Or know that Good well, comment. Wendy just mentioned that she's really excited that you held up and showed the coaster. I'm really excited to know who actually made those because they're amazing. Yeah, Wendy. Um, oh man, I'm not going to be able to, I want, I would love to put her chat or her uh, video in the comments. Actually, you know what? I believe that um, Wendy's products were in our last unboxing video. So go watch our unboxing video. Speaking of which alphas, now that we're kind of in the last few minutes and while Nate's looking for uh, last minute questions, back there on that chair is the pile of products that we have had for our um, PO box. We haven't done an unboxing since our Christmas episode because things have slowed down. Our PO box is down below with all the other junk down below this video in the description. Make sure that you get your products in if you want them featured in our next video. We need three more packages before we're going to record this video. And we're super excited because I've edited all of our previous videos, all of those videos, all of the unboxings, which are, they're fun because they're funny and I can put my own like goofy spin on them. They're not, you know, they're not as, um, they're not as businessy. They're just more, more for you guys, but <laughs> Nate's going to be editing those now. And I'm really excited to see how goofy he makes them. So Make sure oh, and I'm excited to work on it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, I want you to just make it crazy. I want you to make yeah. everybody laugh. Um, do we have any more? Do we have any more? Um, Wrecking Crew says, I can send you a package, Starla. Do it. Yes. Make sure that you read the rules send down things. below. There are rules. Read the rules down below. <laughs> Don't send things that are illegal. Yes, please. No, nothing wet, nothing gooey, nothing that could get broken and then get all over our other PO box items. I don't want the post office to be mad at me. Anything else? Any last minutes? Yelly is going to send you a package as well. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's Yelissa. Yelly. Um, <laughs> you already know, I love it. See, this is what's so cool about this community. It doesn't even feel like we're talking to strangers here. It feels like everyone knows each other. Yelissa, we're all just hanging out. Yelissa is an HIA student. She Her business is Serenity by Yelly, and she makes some really amazing jewelry. Be sure to go check her out. Hey, Wendy, if you're sending another set of coasters, I might steal one from Starla for myself. <laughs> yeah, she, I think that they come in four packs. We gave one away for a giveaway. So that's super cool. Another, here's, here's another thing. I know that we get a lot of products, um, gifts like for us with our unboxing packages. So if you guys end up sending anything to Nate, make sure that you label it. Make since we get stuff for Taylor, we get stuff for us, we get stuff for the giveaways. Um, now we've got Nate involved, so I'm pretty sure that he'll end up getting some stuff in our fan mail too. So That'll please awesome. make sure that you label everything. Yes. Um, oh, hey, Amy has a last minute question. Do you think Etsy will ever make it possible to put your shop on vacay and be able to work on your shop page? That's a great question. Well, I'm not, I can't really see into the Etsy crystal ball. So it's a good, good suggestion. And it might be something that you would want to um, leave feedback on. There's a lot of different resources where you can leave feedback to Etsy. Um, I can't, man, I can't even remember. I think that I, you could probably Google it though. I can't remember exactly how to leave Etsy feedback. I have a link for it in Handmade Alpha Academy in the Academy resource guide, but I don't know what it is offhand, but I- ah. I'm Heather sure. Alexander, if we signed up for HAA waiting list previously, should we sign up again? If you are already on my email list, you don't 
you don't have to sign up. Basically, everybody who's on the waiting list will be getting the first notice of HA opening. But if you're already on my uh, on my normal email list, then you will also be getting the discount and the you know the um, the notice that it's open. So it the the waiting list is just like my most interested alphas. I might let them in like a few hours earlier. So. Anybody else? It's 101. Any last minute um, questions before we hop off for thingies. the weekend? Questions, thingies. Everyone, so real quick, I've noticed a couple of more Instagram follows come in. Please continue to get on there and support us at E-Rank Pro. More yes. good stuff is coming. Yes, and we have all those links are down below. The uh, the E-Rank, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook group if you want to hang out with Anthony and talk to um, his staff, the E-Rank Pinterest, and the E-Rank Reddit account. And Nate, we did have one question at the beginning of the video that I completely ignored, and I'm going to give you like one second to answer it before we hop off because we do have to meet with Anthony today. But somebody asked, what is Reddit? <laughs> oh, what is Reddit? Think of it like a giant blog thing. It's a giant blog, okay? And you can literally talk about anything and everything. Uh, the Etsy forums are not that great. No. And I believe a lot of people are moving over to Reddit. So it's actually a pretty good resource. There is a ton of knowledge in there. And I have an account set up through E-Rank that we will be responding to anything E-Rank related. So feel free to look us up. Uh, you can find the link down below. You can just search Reddit E-Rank Pro and you'll find us. It's super easy. Continue to follow us. We love it. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, we hope that you have an awesome weekend. Thank you so much um, for joining us and make sure that if you have not already, I highly recommend that you get in the E-Rank Facebook group. If you end up having questions or if you want to leave feedback for Anthony right now, feedback time is like super duper crucial. We, we need to hear lots of feedback. That way we can give it to Anthony. So he knows what you guys think for the new site. If you see any bugs, if you see anything that could be improved upon, you also have the option to click the feedback button that is down in the bottom right corner of your E-Rank screen that will pop up a little chat and then you can email Anthony directly. So guys, we hope you have an amazing weekend. There is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff coming up in the next few months from both us and Anthony over at E-Rank and Nate, who is now part of the E-Rank team. So guys, have a great weekend. Nate. Bye. Cheers. See you later, guys. Bye.